I told you you cannot throw cans in there. How many times have I told you that? You don't listen. Now what's up beside it? All right, I got the straight shaft. Hyper tough H 25, 20, 25 cc's. Starts up first time every time. And I bought it. I've used it one time last summer and I put it away in the shed. And I'm going to restring it. And you can see the end of mine looks like it's broke. I don't know what's going on with this thing. You're supposed to spin it that way, twist it, hold that, you turn this apart, it pops right off, put your new wheat line on. But I ain't never had to change the wheat line because I filled it up last year, and this is the first year I'm using it. But I started started right up first pool. They're really good weight eaters. But when you go change the line, you got to watch out. These things right here break very easily. I don't know if I broke it or not, but it won't turn. So I'm going to try to fix it here and see if it works with a pair of vice grips. And I doubt it will, but... We're going to try it. They're really good weed eaters. I think they had, uh, watching a weed eater, I was watching one of a guy on, uh, YouTube. I can't remember the name of his post. Yeah, that worked. Twisted it right up or make sure it did. And I figured this weed eater would be a piece of crap because I got it from Walmart. I think the spring ink will get in because when I go to pop it, pop the weed eater line out. And the spring was in there. But the spring, that should pop right out. It's not popping out. Why ain't that popping out? But I was watching, I wish I remember the guy's name. Because he looks up some of my posts sometimes. I just think he had one just like mine. And he had the curve shaft. And I didn't watch all the video, but I got the straight shaft one. And the only thing I'm having problems with is when you bounce it on the ground, it don't want to, don't want to see. You're supposed to twist it. You see how that came right off? That screw is supposed to twist on and off. That screw's not doing that. And now I don't want to pull out. See, that's not supposed to be like that. I don't reckon, I don't know, man. Still weed eaters, I usually mess with them. They're easy to change out. I ain't ever really mess. I got this last summer, used it twice, maybe three times, but I put so much line on it. I ain't never had to change it out. There we go, popped right out. Somebody, I didn't do that. I let my son use it, so. I can imagine why it looks like that there. But I was looking at the guy's other video, he had one. He's got the curve shaft. And like he said, I think they used to be Craftsman and Troy built and they switched them out. These little motors on these things, man, it starts right up. I'm talking about the first pull, I put it on choke, started right up, moved it to two, moved it to three, and it was wide open. I'm talking about, and it's not been started in a year, first pull. Same thing as on that lawnmower over there. That lawnmower's got a brig, Briggs and Stratton on it, but. You can see that's bent, now you can see why when I pop it, it's not working, that spring's not working either, my son's messed it up. But this is a straight shaft one. And I can tell you one thing, these are good weed eaters. They are, I can tell you. I used it maybe three times last summer, I think my son used it twice. And as you can see, my son has put red line and green line in it. And he didn't even put it on there right. No, he didn't put it on right at all. And uh, you can see he's bent the top pretty badly there. That's what happens pretty much when you let your kids borrow your stuff. I used it three times, and he used it probably more than I did. And this is the way I got it back. But these are good weed eaters, really good. The only thing I don't like is when I tilt it sideways, gas comes out of my cap. So if I want to go sideways and I want to eat sideways, gas comes out of that cap and I don't understand why. But starting it up, anything like that, like I'll show you, I'll start it up right now, it'll start right up. Good little weed here. Here will I show you, let me see if it's got any gas in it. No, I won't show you because it ain't got no gas in it, but I got gas in the shed, but. No, I was going to start right up, but you prime that thing 10 times like it tells you to. I'd say that's probably the best way to get on the market. Straight shaft or the curved one. 
I just got through watching another video of a guy changing his out. But as you can see, my son bit mine up. I was going to make a video on it. I'll go ahead and share it. But I'm telling you what, I primed it 10 times. It's a hyper tough 25cc H2520. I primed it 10 times, started on one, pulled one time, and it started idling. Move it over on two, three, it's wide open. Turn that button on right there, and it, I'm telling you what, that's a kill button. It's already on. And ram it up, just ready to go. I made me a little thing with it last summer. But yeah, they're good little weed eaters. The only thing I don't like about them is when you gotta bounce on them. Like the steel weed eaters, you can go smack it up against the ground, and that weed eating line will pop out. Of course, the weed eating line on the steel is a lot thicker. It comes out really easy. On these right here, they're harder to put the line on. I guess it was hard for my son because you can see he messed it up. But they're really good weed ears. Really, got really good motors on it. If you could switch out the heads, that'd be great. If you get like a steel weed eater head put on it, that'd be awesome. But uh, the motors are great on them. I'm just not too fond of these. I'm right. Really not too fond that my son has broke this now, but anyway, over and out. I cannot remember the video I watched. That guy watches some of my videos sometimes, and I was watching his video. And it pretty much showed me how to take it. I didn't know if I was doing it wrong, but he showed me how to take it off. I greatly appreciate it. But over and out. If you go to Walmart to buy your weed eater, I suggest you get one of them right there. First pull, after you prime it 10 times, I promise you it's going to start right up. It don't matter if it's curved shaft or straight shaft. Over now, have a good day, folks. Today I went and bought mine at the same price, so I just went and got the straight shaft. Have a good one.